Pre-registration, I think, is a, an area that we that Plus One hasn't yet tackled, and I think it's a really important area, um, especially in my area of research. There's so many different ways of analysing your data, um, and you can analyse it one way, you don't get the result you want, you can analyse another way, you don't get the result you want, you can analyse another way, and so on. And if you're doing that behind closed doors, there's no way of knowing whether or not someone's analysed it one way and come up with a result, or analysed it 50 ways, not corrected for that, and then publish that result based on the 50th way they've tried to actually analyse it. By pre-registering the analysis that we're going to do beforehand, it doesn't mean that you can't do exploratory analysis after that, but it does mean that people know what you're actually going to do before you actually do it, and it means that you've actually had to think through that process. And there's a lot of, um, several archives now online where people can register what they're going to do, um, which, you know, time stamped and all the rest of it. And there's several journals now that are using those as a way of doing um, review, in the review process. Um, and I think that'd be a great way for PLOS to go forwards is to start accessing those, start asking um, ed, uh, authors when they actually submit, if they've actually submitted to one of those um, websites, um, and then giving that to the reviewers so that they know whether or not they have actually registered and therefore whether they've thought through it and whether they've actually done what they said they were going to do before they do it. Okay. So there's registered reports where you go through the whole review process, um, which is Cortex is, was one of the first to do that. Um, but there you go through a whole review process and you have a bunch of uh, reviewers that actually review that and they've actually said that once the paper comes in they'll also review it at that stage. And so you get this double review process. Um, and that's a bit restrictive because especially with PhD students who are really trying to get through quickly, um, or as quickly as they can, it takes a long time to go through the pre-registration part, which can take six to 12 months, and then you have gotta go through the next stage as well. Whereas you can, um, Open Science Framework, OSF, is one of the websites where you can just register your report, you just put it online and you say what you're gonna do, you have just a little blurb on what you're gonna do and they have different stages for it that you just tick off. Um, and everyone has access to that. And then if you alter that at any time in the future, which you can, um, you're probably going to experiment and you realise you're going to do a little bit different, you alter at that stage and you keep altering it. Um, and then the reviewer can go back and look at that and look at when you decided to make decisions and when you decided to change things. And so they can say, oh, yes, they were going to do that analysis, so it's completely valid. Or you do that analysis and you don't find anything and then you do exploratory analysis. But you've got to publish that original analysis to show what actually happened with that and then what happened at the next stage. Mm -hmm. But there's no restriction and it's already set up, so it's not something um, that would take plus one any extra. Um, and it's something that uh, I know I do um, pre-submission inquiries for uh, um, current biology and they do it. So they just have a tick box, which is yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And if they tick yes, you have, then you just put the code, because you have a little marker code um, in that. And then when you're reviewing it, you can just look it up and you can look and see what they had actually registered and when they'd registered it and whether or not they'd registered it before they actually did it, which is a nice way to do science. Mm -hmm. And it's an open way to do science.